One of the first structures in downtown Escanaba has been Lee's Winery for the past 10 years. Lee's Winery opened when the recession was going on and didn't quite know if they were going to make it or not. In their first year as a winery, they produced 500 bottles of wine compared to the 2,000 gallons of wine they did this year. You might know Lee from one of his most popular wines that Youpers like the most. So we made a, a, a sweet rosé wine and we called it Youper Juice because it, it's tough like the Youpers around here and it's on the sweet side. And we made, um, oh, I think a small batch of about 100 gallons the first year, went to 200, and this year we did real close to 300 gallons of that particular wine by itself. This building went up in 1881 and has a lot of historical significance downtown. One of their first wines was called the Old Escanaba to commemorate the fact that they are part of Old Escanaba. Um, we're not a huge wine. We're just a small local place. Um, we're involved in the community. People come in our door and they'll, they'll say, oh, we're having dinner downtown someplace, but we don't know where, and we'll give them advice on different places downtown. This year marks their 10-year anniversary, and on July 7th, they will be hosting an event to celebrate their years in Escanaba. They are bringing in local chefs to do tasting with appetizers and wine pairings, plus much more. It's really great to be here for 10 years because that's just um, not real common nowadays. Um, so it's been really great to be downtown and partnering with some of the downtown businesses and doing some um, local chef pairings and stuff like that. So it's been really great to be down here for 10 years. They offer wine tastings and tours during their store hours. Tickets for the event will be coming out in a month. For more information on the event, visit our website, abc10up.com. From Escanaba, I'm Jordan Galkas, reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5.